Hello everyone, Kiwi Car Talk here, and today we'll be exploring this 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. This car belongs to a family friend of ours, and it was very kind of them to let me film this. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the key, and let's get it started up. Oh, shoot, I locked that. So down here, we got your electric window controls, and there your wing mirrors. So let's get this thing started up. Oh, here's the aircon's on. I'll just um, take that off. We can listen to that later. So let's turn on the hazards. Lights and oh, the fog lights are already on, isn't that convenient? And let's have a look around the exterior. So, you've got indicators here on the front fender, there's the light and the fog light. Step back a little. There's the back of the car. Okay, let's jump inside and have a look at the interior. Just get all that turned off. Turn that down. So this 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado has done a whooping, a whopping 440,276 kilometers. Eh, it's a Toyota. You look after these things, they will go on forever and ever. So, because this is a, yes I know I'm not wearing my seatbelt but I'm not moving so, yeah it's okay. So because it's a Japanese car, you got your indicator light controls on this side, and your wiper controls are on this side. It's pretty standard for a Toyota, like a 1995 Toyota steamer has like the exact same controls. So in the middle, you've got yourself an analog clock. I quite like that. So it's got a Kenwood aftermarket stereo. We'll just turn that up. Yep, sounds good. So down here, you got your air conditioning controls. So you got your temperature here, off, automatic, fan speed, different modes, air conditioning toggle, front defrost, and your rear defrost. Here you got yourself a little, I'm guessing that's an ashtray, from the looks of things. Another one here, oh that's probably storage, little thing. So you got your Siggy lighter here. Now this car features a 4 speed automatic. There's your 4 wheel drive selection, so your, so your low range, high range, and diff lock, I'm assuming. So here, I'm not too sure what that is, I think that has to, it's probably something to do with the 4 wheel drive, apologies there. Where you come up, you got your handbrake here. Oh, didn't point this out. That's for your antenna. Oh, let me focus on that. It's for your antenna. You got your little, um, got a pretty decent storage area here. And that's that's about it. Okay, now it's time to have a look at the engine. So let's pull out a handy dandy cheat sheet. So this 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado features Toyota's 5VZFE engine. It's a double overhead cam, 24 valve engine with 3378cc of displacement. The engine produces 136 kilowatts at 4800 rpm and 294 newton meters of torque at 3600 rpm. The car is a four wheel drive car. Let's give you all a closer look at the engine. as well as the final sort of overall view. Okay, let's jump around and have a look at the back. Oomph! Hey, Aye! 
So you got your passenger window control here, little storage pocket, oh, best turn that off, as well as another storage pocket here, and same story on that side. In the middle, you got your cup holders, and here you got your ashtray. So, space here at the back, this is, this car is absolutely huge on the inside, I mean look at it. Your seats start here, oh, forgot to mention. Adjustable headrests on every single one of the seats, but there's so much room. It starts here, here, and then here, and there's also a ton of legroom, so you would be really comfortable. Not to mention, you also have two handles. You got a handle here and a handle here. Why you need that many handles? I do not know. Oh well, you can never have too many handles, I guess. And the car is a seven-seater car, so you got two seats here at the back, and from the looks of things, yeah, you got a decent amount of legroom. I would jump in, but you know what? I'll try. I'll try do my best. So the back, you got two cup holders here, and one cup holder, a little something else here. Now let's go around the back and have a look at the boot. So it's one of those boots that open like a car door. So, you got yourself a little thingy here, a uh, little storage thing here. Oh, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll deal with that later. So that's the boot space at the moment. Um, obviously, you can fold down these seats and have like a lot more boot space, but just for the time being, this is good enough for like trans just transporting you know things when you're like in town or something. If you're going camping or something, just fold down these seats and you'll be sorted. So there's your overall view, because there's not much to show anyway. Let's go around and have a look at the front. So there's your spare tire there. Oops. Oh it's not leg room. So you got your passenger window control here, as well as a little storage pocket, random handle here. If we go here, oh, glove box is a bit, it's, it's, it's broken, so I can't open that for you. Apologies there. If we go up here, we've got your sun visor with the mirror and the light. Same story here on the driver's side, you got yourself your sun visor with a mirror and a light. So space up here at the front, well the seat's been pushed pretty far forward so I don't have as much leg room, but even then I've got a fair bit of leg room. And the seat as well is quite comfortable. Same story here on the driver's side. The driver also has quite a bit of, um, you know, quite a large seat and a decent amount of leg room. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed learning more about this 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.